Hello YouTube. Alright, so we're on the now fifth chapter of making our Tron-like character. At the end of this chapter we're going to add some clothes with texture. We're not going to use the Blender clothes because uh, Tron-like clothes are skin tight. So we don't need them to be fabric-y and all over the place. So we're going to use a separate texture. We had one texture for glow and now we're going to have another texture for close. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. First, we don't really need this area anymore, but just to get it, um, just so we can see what we're starting with, let's render. This is where we are right now. We have our model with our glow effect, but he has no clothes on. So, we'll exit out of that. We don't need to be on this screen right now. So let's leave this screen. Actually, we're going to be needing to go to the UV image viewer because we're going to be drawing his clothes. So let's... is it UV? It's uh... yeah. Why don't I see... there we go. Alright. So what we want to do now is make a new image. And we're going to call this Tron Body Close. Whoops. New Tron Body Close. All right. And we're going to save it as Tron body close. Now, the Tron close is pretty simple. We can go to the texture paint to define it. Um, we're just going to define the fact that the close is not on the head and the hands. So we're going to clean the head off and then we'll make a good kind of ending right there. Let's move this over. So we will have clothes on every part of this guy's body except for his hands and his head. Interesting. He has got a natural mohawk from this. All right. Now you see there's some leftovers, so we're going to need to address that. We'll get to that in one minute. Let's do the hands. So how I'm doing this is I'm just painting with white. Um, go like that. And then after I paint an area, I have to go to the other side. Just like spray paint. Imagine if you were spray painting a mod model with a can of spray paint. That's exactly what we're doing here. Right. I have to get in all the creases. And then this will allow us to to add textures like bumpiness or, or color or even the way that light reflects off of these images or these sections differently. So you can have the clothes have a different um, shine rate or reflect rate than the skin. And we'll experiment with that before we finish this video. Before I finish this video, sorry. I'm sounding like the queen. We we are going to do this. Alright, um... Almost there. Sorry. It's taking so long. Alright. Now, remember I have my model mirrored, so if I paint on one hand, it'll actually paint on both hands. Makes it a little bit easier for right now. Okay. Now, you can see that we have some places that just aren't going to paint. Let me show you how to address those. Go back over here. And these are our areas that we've painted. Let's go to Edit. And you can see where this is. You can see the problem is really on the edges. So let's go over here and say Image Painting. Let's use a smaller brush. because. We don't want to go into something else and just go around like this. 
And then if you go back into texture mode, you'll notice that problem went away. So let's go through the other problems. One problem is definitely on the hand. You gotta get all these creases. Now remember this is the I think this is the lower part of the hand. The under part. Okay. This is the upper part of the hand. Okay. This is the ear. How do I know that? I'm just used to what these models unwrap as. But to figure it out for yourself, what you can do, if you don't know where a particular thing is, go over to your edit window and uh, you can highlight certain sections. So what we can do is turn off image painting and let's say I'm worried about that mohawk. Let's figure out where the mohawk is. So as I highlight, I see that the mohawk is here and that's where that problem is. So let's go back to image painting and fix the mohawk problem. And this is also probably a problem. So we get all the edges. So we're nice and clean. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go back to texture paint and see if we got everything. Looks like there's a crease in the front of the head. We'll have to get that. Let's check out the hands real quick. The hands look pretty good. Let's fix that crease in the front of the head. How do we get that? Okay. So it's all the way down. So what it most likely is is this. And there we go. So now we've painted painted our texture. Oop, we have something we have something down here. See if we can get it. Oh, we can't get it totally. So now we need to find his neck. So to find his neck, we're going to go out of painting mode again. And we're going to highlight his neck. So his neck is right there. Go back into painting mode. Let's highlight that. Go back into texture. And you see we've got it. So I think we did pretty good. Um, you can definitely go into GIMP and straighten these up. So let's figure out where this is. It's right there. This front area is also right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save as. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to open up my GIMP. Now I'm going to open the file. One second. And we're going to make that line a little bit more strong. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to go over here and say reload. You can see we got everything except for the back. So the question is, where is this back being defined? So let's figure that out. Back. That's interesting. Ah, it's. Let's go back to texture for a minute. Uh, this is right here, and it belongs here, which is all the way down here. So this needs to be straight. So let's go back into here. We're in GIMP again. And just take this. Let's make that much more stronger. 
Let's do a reload. Oh, whoops, didn't save it. Let's do a reload and check it out. Almost. So I don't want to waste your time. You can, we'll, we'll fix this. You can fix this at your leisure, and I'll fix this before I post it. Oh, there it is. It's fixed now. So there's our model. So let's save this. So we have our final texture. And then we're going to get out of texture painting. Now if we if we render it at this point, we still only see the glow stuff. We don't see what we just did. So what we've got to do is go to the model, go to texture. Okay, we're going to add a new one. And we're going to call this close texture. Whoops. Close texture. Right? <coughs> we're going to make this an image. We are going to open the image. All right. We're going to set the UV mapping to UV text. All right. We're going to save it. We're going to see what it look like. All right. <coughs> there is our black. Um, but I want to show you. You can do some. You can do some things with it. Right now we have color. We want color. Um, you can say how much all these, you can uh, you can identify all these things. So I'm trying to see, here we go, hardness. I want to affect hardness. Alright, let's try, bring it down. Doesn't seem like the hardness affected much. Intensity, there we go. Let's bring intensity down, that's what I'm looking for. It doesn't seem to affect it too much. But you get the general idea. We now have clothes on our model. You can play with those settings to see how they impact the the model. And you can um, play with the root material too that will affect it. Uh, if you want to do the skin a different texture, it's the same concept, just do the inverse of what we did with the clothes, and um, you can add some bumpiness and pores to the skin that way too. So I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to post this file for you.